Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water, bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with who? This hood girl to the hood. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. Let's say prayers silently. And amen. So let's salute. It's too early to drink. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going into a new week. If we should wake up the next day, uh, if it's God's will. So, yeah, just have a great Sunday evening until the next day. So, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers. I'm thirsty to y'all. What's on y'all Sunday, Mia? Y'all, me and these chairs, I think I'm going to, I know they're new. I'm about to put them on Marketplace to sell them and give me some more because I don't know if I like these. Y'all want to see? These are, I don't know if I like them right now. Y'all, these are some new chairs that I bought. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I love the color. I just don't know. It has a low back. I just don't know if I like them. It's too much work. <laughs> I just don't know if I like them. But today, y'all, we have some uh, loin chops baked in the oven. We have, of course, that seasoned rice. And uh, we have some corn. Now, let me tell y'all what the corn. I thought I had picked up two cans of whole kernel, but when I opened them both, one was whole kernel and one was cream style. So I just mixed them up with some uh, garlic and uh, uh, bell pepper and onion, butter, sugar, salt, and pepper. But y'all know my rice is uh, has all that other stuff. Now. Uh, for these loin chops, y'all know I'm not a pork chop girl. However, I put some brown sugar. I put some smoked paprika, salt and pepper, garlic powder, olive oil. I cut some onions up. And uh, yeah, I did something different because I, I don't cook pork chops. This is the first time I cooked pork chops for, what, two years? So here we go. Yum, yum. Give me some. Yes, y'all. I've had a great weekend. I tell you. Yesterday, it's hot too, y'all. I want some, I want some uh, hot sauce. Oh, hot. Mm, mm. That is good. Mm, mm. Sister came over and we went out and we had some, uh, Food from Texas Roadhouse, I think that's what it was. I had a drink that was really good. It was Texas Peach Frizz or whatever that was. That was good. I don't know if I'll go back. I, I wasn't too fond of the food. My sister had got a combination plate, and it had some chicken tenders, some mozzarella balls, um, some... Uh, Loaded potato skins. That chicken, y'all, was sour. You know, we just, we, we, we still kind of like in the COVID. It was really too crowded for me. And why your food sour? Mm. 
Mm-mm. Let me cook my own shit. Okay. No, let me let me back that up. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me cook my own food. Y'all want some of this seasoned corn? There you go. Mm-hmm. I just not trusting people anymore, especially with these young children behind that oven and stove. They don't they don't they don't put the love in the food that we did when in our generation when we was working in when we, we started working in the restaurants or wherever we started. I started at a uh, coffee ground shop homeless, uh but I wasn't back in the kitchen, I was the waitress, but I was the best waitress that I could be. So I wanted the tips because uh, back then your hourly pay was two dollars and fifty cents an hour. Mmm. 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 That cream style corn with the whole kernel. Y'all, that's really good. I'm sure I'm not the first person that did this, but it's the first time I've done it. Let me do this again. That's good. Y'all. I did not start that timer. Yeah, I'm, I probably gonna need to keep this on my menu because this is good. Maybe with some with some uh Smothered chicken with some thick gravy on some uh, garlic mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this morning church was so good. And one thing that is sticking in my mind, the pastor said, you're on the second chapter in your book. Turn the page. <sighs> Meaning... Whatever happened in the last chapter, let it go. Your anger, frustration, the loss of your marriage, your children who want to do what they want to do. Sometimes you just got to turn the page, make new choices, do new things. Mm-hmm. He did the story from um, Ruth. And uh, Naomi, it was so beautiful. Y'all. It really was inspiring. And church was long today. I think it was like three hours, but I couldn't stop looking at it, you know? I was running in this house. I was shouting. I was crying because the message was just so blessing to me. Oh, yeah, let's do this poke chop. I think I need a knife. I'll be back. Oh, Lord, I got to get back in this chair. I mean, they, they not... <laughs> They are very comfortable. Shit. You gotta scoot and scoot. I don't like it. I don't like that. Look at that. Yum. Mm. Mm. That's good, y'all. That is so good. And these poke tops, I think that's like an inch thick. Mm -hmm. That's good. That is good. I may uh, see how thick they are. I'm really, I might do that again. That's how thick they are. Mm-hmm. 
You know, one thing I am really missing, y'all, is my, my uh, barbecue pit. I would have uh, browned them and put them in some uh, aluminum foil and smoke it in direct heat. Yeah. Mm. This is really a good Sunday meal, y'all. Something different, too, because y'all, again, y'all already know. Y'all have never seen me eat pork chop. <laughs> well. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I was thinking about maybe Dave and them cook some. Mm-mm. Well. David thinks his girl is pregnant. They lost a baby with a miscarriage maybe three years ago. But she, he says she has the symptoms, so we'll see. This is good. I don't even know hot sauce on my meat. It's just flavored so well. Really well. Mm-hmm. I'm very pleased with this coin, y'all. Yeah, next time I do this corn, it will be with some uh, smothered chicken. Mm-hmm. But really, y'all, yeah, before I bake this, these pork chops, or these lawn chops, whatever they are, I wanted to smother them. But guess what, y'all? It's the first time I looked. I didn't even have no flour. Huh. So that's on my next uh, shopping list. Do y'all go to the store with a shopping list? Yeah, yesterday when I was in the world, before my sister came, I was out there shopping. And yesterday I had a straight long ponytail, y'all. Honey. Honey. Huh. Talking about attention. I had a lot of attention, baby. But nobody that y'all, I don't I just really pray that because I've been celibate and single for these years, I have not well not gotten um so picky. Mm -hmm. I hope not. But all the attention I got, none of them intrigued me. This food is good. Mm -hmm. This rice is bomb, too. Oh, y'all, don't forget to pray for the sick and shut in. This is this is good. Well, y'all, I was sitting on the on the patio, honey. It's hot out there. It's today. <laughs> I think we're in the high nineties, but it's warm. That humidity makes it feel like a hundred. It's a thick piece of meat. But nevertheless, it's good.
Y'all, I remember just a few months ago, I used to have one Sunday that I don't cook. I haven't done that so long. I, have, I don't know what's going on next weekend, though, because it's not here. But should I still be living? I think next weekend I'm going to take myself out on Sunday. After church. This is bomb. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can y'all see it? This is bomb. But you know, these thick uh, pork chops kind of remind me of a steak. I'm not a steak girl. But them tomahawk steaks, I think that people are, that I see on YouTube eating with, with, that, with that bone, I've been looking at them. But, you know, I just can't see myself paying $40 for that steak and only going to eat a piece because I'm not that steak girl. And I wouldn't even know how to cook it, actually. I would not know how to cook that big old thing because I don't have a grill either. So, well, I have that electric grill, but it is nothing like a charcoal grill. I guess you can probably put it in the cast iron skillet and um, on high heat, I guess. I don't know. And maybe finish it off in the oven. I don't know. I, I just, unless I had somebody to help me eat it, I'm not going to do it. That's way too much meat. And it's steak. And y'all already know. That beef roast I like, but maybe once or twice a year. The pork roast I do like. The pork butt roast, mm-hmm. I've cooked that many times. I don't know why I put two of these thick pieces of meat on my plate. I can't eat that other thick piece. It sure is good, though. Mm -hmm. My neighbor, Shemondra, and I bought them a house. They'll be moving in two weeks. So I have to meet my new neighbors, whomever they are. When I opened my door yesterday... I know me and my sister have some resemblance to our mother, but my sister's the color of my mother. And I opened up that door, I was like, girl, you look so much like mama. Right now. Go home. <laughs> she had a long black one too. You know, mama got that, that long wavy hair. She looks so much like our mother. So much like our mother. It was a little scary. <laughs> okay, y'all. We got one minute left and I'm done. Because I can't eat that other thick piece of meat, y'all. Y'all want it? You can have it. Take it. I don't want that. You know, it would be sad that It was eight in the package like this size. I'm probably not going to eat this but one more time. So, I don't know. I'm going to figure out something else. Maybe, um, excuse me. I don't know. I hate to throw them away, but I'm just not this poor girl. I bought them because they were beautiful. It was a beautiful piece of meat. And, of course, it was on sale. 
I think the eight pieces like this thick in the package, I think I, I think I paid six dollars maybe. Or a little bit less. It wasn't expensive at all. Okay, y'all. Let's cancel this time. Thank y'all for coming, of course, and thank you for sticking and staying. All oh, my husbands, men, women. I don't know if I have any children because uh, my page is not kid friendly. Of course, back, you know, in COVID times and pre-COVID, it was not kid friendly, especially on Fridays. Um, I'm trying to figure out something good to do and better to do. I just don't know yet. But one thing I really do know that I eat every day. So why not record? Okay. But thank you once again for sticking and staying. Thank you, because you know I love you all, all of you, okay? So, uh, pray for the sick and shut in, that is. Um, pray for your families, your children mostly too. Mm -hmm. And those who are under these bridges that have nothing, yeah. Bless broken marriages and broken children, too, as well. All right, enough of that. Choir director went home early today, so y'all in the back, come on, join the, the hood girl who can't sing. Let's sing. Come on, the people in the front of the choir, get your voices ready. Y'all ready? Let's do it. This long hair is hot. I'm just not a long hair girl. This, this hair is hot. Let's sing. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of the Sunday day, do it good, do it with purpose, and do it with what? Genuine love. I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Goodbye.